time the the one time that I really realized Devin was the, you know, he was the guy is when him and Floyd sparred. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, that was that was probably the time when I I know I really had the confidence that I knew that I was like this this guy is something different, right? Is because you grow up. I never I, heard the story of him sparring Floyd. Beat the shit out of Floyd. Oh. <laughs> talking about <laughs> what what he beat floyd up what fight was that for before the conor mcgregor fight oh wow come on now you know and you you those are the times that you you hear about things but then you don't hear about things because you know it's real right that had to be surreal for for for, for Devin. that probably put his confidence on a whole new level <laughs> You what's good, family? So mash the like button, subscribe, and lick off the bell. So we just heard there from Bill Haney, Devin. No power having Haney. No power having ass Haney. It's pops airing out. Floyd broke Mayweather. Damn, it's bad for Mayweather right now. However, I will say that I think Bill Haney capping. Why do I think Bill Haney capping? Well, as much as we all know and I've exposed that Floyd Mayweather is 100% broke as a joke. I'm not gonna, what we're not going to do on this channel is lie. I'm not a shill. I'm not a liar. Yes, it's been exposed. Floyd Mayweather's broke as a joke. He ain't paid Logan Choke and Paul his money. So he's broke. Yeah, now he's trying to fight some next UAE Dubai Donny for some money. He broke. He broke as a joke. He running crypto scams and all sorts. However, like I said... Being broke does not take away from his legacy in the ring. And Floyd, as far as being a complete fighter goes, is pretty much the real deal, in my opinion. Having said that, we've all watched Devin No Power Having Haney. Yeah, we've all watched Devin No Power Having Ass Haney. And he ain't no Floyd. He wanna be Floyd, that's the thing. If I had to, if, if I had to pick a fighter who wanna be Floyd, bad, but ain't close. It'd be Devin. No power having Haney. And that's the facts of it. So I'm sorry, people. Please forgive me if I don't believe Bill Haney. I think he capping. And, and I mean, the way he explains it. Oh, man, you know what? Uh, you know it's real. You know that oh, Devin Haney beat his ass. And you know it's real because no one's heard about it. Well, listen. We've heard from many people who are actually there. Everyone's heard about the Errol Spence session. When Errol Spence gave Floyd the work and Floyd kicked him out of the gym. Everyone heard about that one. Yeah? And I'm sorry, pl again, please forgive me. If you want me to believe that Devin Haney at 13 years old was giving Floyd that same kind of work. Devin Haney talk about, we beat his ass, we gave him a black eye. Come on, man. Oh, and you know it's real. Oh, man, you know it's real because nobody's heard about it. Well, listen, everyone heard about the Errol Spence one. Oops. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, a, I mean, I'm pretty sure a 12 or 13 year old cat. Sorry, he wouldn't have been 12 or 13. He'd have been what? Floyd and McTapper fought in 2017. Haney's what, 22 now? So he'd have been 17. Either way, the point is, yeah, Haney ain't got no power at 22. And you know at 17 he ain't had no power. <laughs> for sure. That's for real, for real. <laughs> yeah. You want me to believe Mr. No Power Having Ass Haney himself give Floyd the work? I can't. I'm sorry. I don't believe it. I don't believe you beat his ass. I believe Floyd went in there and probably sunned your son. That's what I think happened. I think he went in there and that's the, and you can tell when Floyd's mad. When Floyd's mad, he has a very small, a big ego. He has Napoleon complex, which means... It made sense when we heard that Errol Spence got kicked out of the gym. That's the, that exactly so. That's how I knew it was real. That's how I knew the story was real. When they said Floyd got beat up and he got kicked out of the sparring session. Because that sums Floyd up. He throws his toys out of the pram. That's Napoleon Complex 101. Where Bill Haney slipped up and exposed himself that this was a big lie. Is the fact that he said, oh, yeah, we beat, we beat Floyd Mayweather's ass. And then we took pictures afterwards. Well, I'm sorry. Someone like Floyd who suffers from narcissistic Napoleon complex is not going to allow some 17-year-old to give him the work and then take pictures with him. Your ass going to get kicked out of the gym, just like Errol Spence. That's how you know the ass whooping you took. When you, when you get kicked out by Floyd. Not when he's taking photos with you. 
I think at best, Floyd went in there and sunned Devin Haney in as much as I think he went in there and had a move around. I think Devin Haney was going 100% and I think Floyd was sitting back in the cut going 50%. Devin Haney was saying, oh wow, I'm, I'm beating, I'm giving Floyd the work. And that explains why afterwards Floyd was happy to take a picture. Because he, he wasn't tested. He hadn't really been whooped like Earl Spence whooped him. Do you understand what I'm saying? So yeah, from Bill Haney's point of view, he probably think, oh, we're giving Floyd the work. Not knowing that Floyd, like I said, sitting back in the cut, just going through the motions. Trying to give the young buck some confidence. Especially when people. We know the allegations. The allegations are. Devin has no power. And Floyd's. What's the word? Floyd's inspirational. you got to bear in mind. He's in there. He's in the ring with a kid. Who he knows has no power. Because he's feeling it. What would you do? How would you want to uplift the upcoming generation? You're not going to go in there. And laugh and say listen you've got no power. You're going to go in there and try and make the kid feel good, aren't you? Give him some shots. Give him some overreactions. Oh, stumble back. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what I think Floyd was doing. Uh, like I said, I think Floyd, from what I'm hearing, I spoke, listen, I reached out to someone in the camp, in Mayover's camp, and they told me the truth is Floyd was, tr was essentially sunning Devin Haney. He wanted to build his confidence because he knew he was going to struggle in the pro divisions. So we need to get... Because Diamato talks about how important confidence is. And Floyd, the, the minute Floyd took a shot from Haney, he knew, damn, this kid gonna struggle in the pro ranks. I need to do as much. We, we need to do as much as we can to give him some confidence. And that's why every shot or a few of the shots that Devin landed, Floyd would stumble back. And you know what I'm saying? Getting Haney gassed because he need it. Guess what? Floyd Mayweather weren't doing no stumbling back with Errol Spence. Why? Because he got the work, and that's why he kicked Errol Spence out. Haney ain't get kicked out. About, yeah, you know it's real because no one heard about it. No, we don't know it's real because no one heard about it. And we know Floyd's gym is always full. But yet, you're the only one that saw it. Get out of here, Bill Haney. You're capping. You wish you was Floyd. Oh, well, yeah, there was no... <laughs> can you hear him? There, there was no contest in skill level. You want me to believe Devin no power having Haney? At 17 years old was stunting all over Floyd. I don't bite, I'm afraid. I just don't. I've seen Floyd fight and I've seen Devin fight. And Devin now, five years later, ain't nowhere near Floyd. Even then, even a 2017 Floyd is miles above this, this Haney cat. Yeah? Haney got no power. But he, Haney ain't beating no one's ass, seriously, yeah? How, how, do, how are you going to expect us to believe that no, Mr. No Power having Haney is going to give Floyd a black eye and beat Floyd's ass, but yet in eight ounce gloves, when it's easier to obviously beat someone's ass with lesser opponents than Floyd. Wait a minute. So, you, right there, you give Floyd a black eye, you give Floyd the work, you beat Floyd's ass, but then you're in there with men smaller than Floyd. Because don't forget, Devin Haney's 135, Floyd's a 147. So, you're in there with 130, you're in there with people smaller with. 8 ounce gloves, so you can do so you can do more damage in smaller gloves. You in there with smaller men, so you you gonna your shots are gonna be more impactful than they were against Floyd. All these factors, and you're five years older, you're five years stronger, but yet Mr. No Power having Haney got no power. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, we rocked Floyd, we bust Floyd up. Well, if you, if you bust Floyd up, why aren't you busting up these random 135ers with eight ounce gloves on? Because for you to bust Floyd up, you'd have to be chewing. For example, I'd just about believe that Tank may have bust Floyd up in some sparring sessions. That's a stretch I may just about believe. But no power having Haney. Get serious, Bill. I understand it's your son, yeah, but get serious, man. Ain't no one believed that. You wish. I, th I think what happened there was Floyd's a legend to you. And you kind of, your, your imagination did the rest. You thought, wow, how amazing would it be for my son to get one over on the greatest fighter in history? And then, like I said, your, your imagination did the rest because I'll tell you what didn't happen. And that explains why you're the only one who knows this because no one else saw it. It was in your head. Yeah? But oh, that's the reason no one knows. No, the reason no one knows is because 
it was in your it was in your dumb imagination. It was in your funny style imagination. I bet everyone else watched it and thought, damn, that dude Haney got no power. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. 